shout outs to all the finals that you organized and put in <laughs> hundreds of hours to make this event possible. They're all in these here. And I especially want to make sure we recognize Kathy Benita, who has been uh, at the very heart of making it work at Finals Living for a very long time. So, uh, And this is on top of everything else they had to get ready for this and to do their day job, so I want to thank them. And finally, I want to thank you guys for coming to a conference like this with open minds and an attitude of collegial exchange. Uh, I learned more from uh, you all than I did from the other presenters, for sure. Uh, and, uh, uh, I was meant to be a positive thing. <laughs> Now, I know some of you are thinking, why is Lieutenant Gunn up here? <laughs> but he's not. <laughs> and I am. So welcome, and I just want to let you know that the mic thing is fine because the bar for success here in year one is that it's not a complete dumpster fire, so we're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, the only way that I really mess this up, I, I had to write it down to make sure. One, if I fail to say the word in that in my entire time up here. <laughs> Two, if I get off schedule, and three, if I dispute in any way the health benefits of eggs. <laughs> so why are we doing a award show? Award shows are fun. Um, we're flipping it on its head a little bit. Instead of not having a host, we're not having presenters. So I want to be doing all the talking. Um, we're all in one place, which I get to talk to a lot of clients, but uh, it's really nice when I get to have one walk up and say, hey, face to face, finally we're going to speak to each other. Uh, we've been on the phone for hours and hours together and never been first in one place. Um, you guys have hard job. Uh, I've worked in schools, and I know that no matter what, they're going to ask me to do a bunch of things that work in the initial offer letter. Um, and so we want to celebrate the things that you managed to get done uh, using the technology that we provide and the things that you found outside of that or on top of that um, to get your job done. And there's great stuff going on all over our finalists. And you'll see the diversity of places that are not our finalists and our leaders come from. It's pretty good. So this is how this is going to work. I'm going to queue up a video for a category. I will introduce the category and name the finalists, which were selected from the nominees. And I'm going to ask you to hold your applause as I identify the finalists. Because you'll see from the timing of the video, there really is a time for applause, that way. And then we're going to reveal who the big winner is. Um, and absolutely, I want you to applaud for them. If you're here, and you win the award, please stand up so we can all recognize you. Um, and after the show, we encourage you to come over to that backdrop over there and get a photo taken with a replica of the award we're going to send to you. These are heavy. Hopefully, you're going to be able to get that roll board from the overhead. And we don't want this to prevent that. Um, and uh, John will be over there uh, to give a big smile and congratulate you on your award. We are on schedule. Is that what you <laughs> We are behind schedule. But <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna make a fun schedule, I'm sure. All right. Our first category is right. Our nominees in the category of directories. Amity. International School of Amsterdam has these cool card effect in the directory. Crisco Ray Jesuit High School from Illinois here in the state uses an accordion to let people browse from among different parts of the faculty. Gladwin Montessori in Pennsylvania has bios already open on the page so people can engage directly with the individuals without having to choose one. And Lakeside School in Washington State Behind each one of these cards is an inspirational quote, all by itself, from that individual teacher. So those are your four nominees. <laughs> this award, I think I have a lot of time here. It's for the best use of a director to convey the school's uh, community with a good user experience. And many sides <laughs>
didn't have a lot of time with that gold stuff back there, so I'm going to say a little bit about them. Uh, you couldn't necessarily see all of it in the short amount of time we had to show you their directory, but you should check it out. Um, behind each one of those unique photos, here's a great quote from that person that someone's entrusting their children to. Um, and it really captures the essence of the teachers that make up um, the thing that every high school says is that the school's most valuable asset of the human right? So you, you really get a chance to put that out there. Congratulations. <laughs> Category number two. Oh boy, that was that was tepid. <laughs> the next category is something everyone loves, which is pink pop. Our nominees in the field of pink pop. St. Anne's Belfield School in Virginia, promoting rich media content and social media in their pink pop. Stowe Valley Multi Academy Trust, Perform, performing arts promotion of campus event, getting people to come to campus. It can always be effective either internal community or external. Thayer Academy in Massachusetts, promoting their homecoming event. And Westmark School in California, promoting their summer academic program. And the winner is. <laughs> Westmark School! But their page pop was really about capturing people's attention quickly. Um, the strong branding, colors, a call to action, there's lots going on. And uh, you really need to grab this attention quickly with the K-pop if you're gonna if you're gonna make it work. Okay. Two down. Ten to go. This is great. There's plenty of time to go off the rails. Alright, here we've got category number three. Outstandingness in the field of content offer. In the number one spot, we've got St. Mary's Hall of Texas with their Google, which requires uh, the user to provide some personal information to the demo. St. Anne's Pistol School in Delaware, also using that tactic to engage admission families earlier in the process. St. Benedict's in New Jersey has a white paper on educating boys um, presented from the point of view of a long-time faculty member. And the Calhoun School in New York as a guide showcasing their expertise in education. Uh, we're, we're awarding here for the most compelling use of the inbound method for downloadable content. So let's you start a conversation, and we're awarding it to St. Benedict.
for their parent portal and heading completely across the world to Zurich International School for their general use of portals. Um, and really what the judge is focused on here, because portals can take so many different forms, was the layout of the very first experience you have when you land in the portal. So that portal landing page is really the thing they focused on. And our winner here went the extra mile. They used a ton of different composer tools, and they pulled in social media to make a space that parents really want to use. And that is Spring Lake Park School. I think the original title was the best use of 
Google search ad campaign ad group concept. <laughs> but the Eaton School is our first nominee. By the way, I'm not going to talk much about these because they're trade secrets. <laughs> King's School in Connecticut. Eaton, by the way, is in Washington State. King's School, clear across the country in Connecticut. Hooray in Washington, D.C. And Whitfield School in Missouri. So we were trying to find somebody who was going beyond the general private schools in my town type searches to get in front of people that logically speaking might be a great potential set of new connections in a creative way. Our winner had a bunch of combinations that had a them to the top. And we'll talk about those in a second. But I'm happy to say it's Maria School. against the very many other options that you have in the individual market in DC. Um, and the success rate was considerably um, higher than what you might expect on an average campaign. The results were great. And, and frankly, because of the very narrow part of the funnel they were addressing, the cost were the results of that budget. Congratulations, Brett. Oh, yes, 
It's a newsletter. Spring Lake Park Schools, again, from, from Minnesota. Stone Ridge School to Sacred Heart. From Maryland, for their job listings. And the Woods Academy, for their blog. Now we all know that finding ways to get more out of the resources you're paying for, or ways to spend, save time, that comes in many, many different shapes. So this is a diverse array. Um, and, the, and the descriptions and what you see on the screen can't possibly tell what story. Um, but if processes were streamlined, or people got more out of the same tools that they're paying for, we found that to be really compelling. And the winner is still there. Digitizing side save people's time in the house, and on the third party platform side save money by getting rid of some first place of fee type of So, congrats to them. That's awesome. Three minutes over. So, I want to say congratulations to all 12 of our winners for this very first. I'm hoping we just double the number of categories every year. That makes sense, right? Um, uh, given the fact that I'm only streaming this over, I think we're all winners. And I want you to enjoy the rest of the conference. Um, please continue to stay in touch with your colleagues because we have so much to share with each other. Um, and uh, please have safe travels. Thanks for sitting through this. Congrats. Oh, and yeah, winners, please do come over to the, to the back travel there. Get your picture taken with the replica of the one that's coming through the mail. And have a great Sunday.